Hey, what's going on? Travis Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So guys, I'm going to give you a reading um, for your life purpose. Um, going to see whether you're currently on your life purpose or is you're um, heading towards that way. Um, but yeah, we'll see what comes up in the reading anyway. Um, and this is a general read. So if it doesn't resonate, you may want to check out another reader. Um, and my videos are timeless, so whenever you come across this video is for you. Um, and if any of you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can send me an email or DM me on Instagram. Um, they're half price at the moment as well, from 40 down to 20. Um, okay. So your first card that come out is school. <coughs> um, the card says the answer that you're seeking involves going to school. <laughs> um, very strange. Some of you may be working, um, heading towards working with young children um, to guide them. Some of you may be learning some new stuff to. That's a part of your goal that you want to achieve. So some of you may be learning um, new skills or getting new qualifications. Some of you may be studying. Um, some of these are definitely working with kids though um, young kids is what I'm getting um, and your uh, the next card is protected and the card says you are safe and supported while you change your career so yeah but, um, the what the f the path with less resistance is the divine path so if you're duck going down the road and there's quite a lot of um, resistance and struggle and obstacles that's probably not the right path for you and if you tune into your intuition um, your intuition will probably tell you this um but you're guided guarded and protected in whatever avenue you want to go down is what's coming up and the next card is <clears throat> writing and the card says you heal inspire teach and entertain with the words you write so some of you what i'm getting um maybe writing about your thoughts and feelings right now some journaling um some of you or singing some of you are singers man um and some of you are inspire people from whatever you do so if you do i don't know youtube videos um tarot reading oracle card reading there's people watching you and you're inspiring people is what i'm getting um For some of you, some of you, um, for women, I'm getting, if you, uh, some of you, I'm getting guided to write a, write a book about your life experience, um, whether you've been going out with a narcissist or um, just write about your journey is what I'm getting. Because um, a lot of people will share your journey. So maybe little videos about feeling, being, being dep depressed or being a single parent because a lot of people can relate and people want to hear other people's stories and get some um, guidance and inspiration from other people's stories um, so use your channel um, to express your your express and share your journey with people because pe it benefits um, yeah some of these are definitely st studying the next card is studying um, and the card says reading research and education help gain confidence and clarity about your career so whatever um, <clears throat> whatever route you're looking to go down take small steps to kind of um, build your confidence you may need to um, work with your solar plexus chakra um, to just give you that little bit of confidence boost that you need um, obviously reading and research and educating your, yourself on whatever subject you're looking to go down is going to be very beneficial um, and also if you're trying to change career and um, some of you is going for a transition um, but just gather a little bit more information um, before you start making any deci decisions and stuff um, but let's see what else comes up um, your next card is counselling and the card says you heal with kind words wise advice and an empathetic ear so 
So some of these are definitely like, I call it like spiritual counseling. Um, you know, you can, um, people just come to you and you, they may tell you their problems. You may give them great advice. Um, you, they, you also inspire people is what I'm getting from your sharing your experience. Um, some of these are definitely counselors. Um, people come to you telling you their stories, even like strangers that you meet on your travels. Um, some of you may be um, become counselors, studying counselling or um, to go down a counselling route um, in later life is what I'm getting. Um, And then your next card is let go. And then the card says, walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. So some, yeah, some of you need to leave a situation that no longer serves you. So say for instance, um, you're at a job that you're not appreciated at. Um, you're kind of knowing your worth and it's time to kind of move on from that. Um, venture it may not be a job it may be um, people places and things that no longer serve you that you need to let go of right now um, because as you evolve and change um, things will no longer resonate with you um, for people that want to evolve but some people would like to stay the same so um, you can't save everyone is what I'm getting so sometimes you've got to cut the tires and let go and move on and by letting go you welcome in the new as well um, so one must let go of the old to welcome the new <clears throat> and then your next card is energy healing <laughs> and then the card says your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your your life purpose so some of you are meant to be healers as well um, Reiki masters, angelic Reiki, um, crystal healing, even oracle card readings is a form of energy work um, because you're using energy and kind of guiding people to healing as well. So doing readings, tarot, oracle cards or mediumship, any of that kind of stuff is healing in itself as well because you're giving um, guidance to people that need it. Um, some of these are um, sound healing as well um, and also what I'm getting for if you're struggling with in with certain lessons in life like I don't know so for instance you're struggling to let go of a situation that may mean you have an imbalance in your root chakra um, of letting go like security safety kind of thing um, or you may need to be confident or lack self-esteem to let go of a certain situation is what I'm getting um, but some of you definitely, some of you may be already Reiki masters or inter interested in Reiki masters. There also are many other um, ways of healing. So I'm just throwing out um, the ones that just come to mind. Um, so yeah, some of you, yeah, even music is healing to one's soul. So that's very interesting. Um, <laughs> and then the, your next card is Oracle Cards. And then the card says, you are able to discern answers and guide guidance for yourself and others. So, yeah, some of these are definitely meant to be um, oracle, that work with oracle cards, tarot cards, um, and do readings for people because um, you also have the gift. Even Or some of you are interested in it, but just doubt yourself. So if you are doubting yourself about becoming, or, um, re becoming a reader, I would say just invest in, um, go online, scroll through, look for a random oracle card deck that gets you get drawn to, um, purchase the deck and then just mess around with the deck and practice. Just pull a card, just sit there and do, start with a free card reading I would say. Pull free cards, see where they can relate to your journey and then even practicing on, you can practice on animals as well, fuck it, why not? Just to give yourself a little bit of confidence. Um, and then practice on your friends as well, even drawing the odd tarot card and stuff and getting um, familiar with the card um, to boost your confidence. And then use your platform, your platforms to share what guidance come through because um, it will resonate with somebody out there. Out of the billions of people in the world, it will resonate. That's why I'm doing it. 
Um, I'm getting guided to do it, but like sometimes my confidence is a bit like, oh yeah, no one, no one even cares or whatever. But it's like, dude, your video will reach someone out there. It's meant for someone. This is the whole point of um, being of service. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, some of you may be, need to step into your power, and um, yeah, just take that leap of faith and just upload that one video or that TikTok video of you pulling a card a day or something. Um, and then your next card is sensitive. Then the card is you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, so some of these are very, I'm feeling it as well, man. We don't know what's going on energetically wise, but yeah, some of these are coming way sensitive as well, man. Some of these are coming more in line with your purpose, that your spiritual gifts are coming online. Um, some of these intuition is on fire. Some of you are becoming mediums as well. Some of you can read energy as well is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, but some of you, some of you can read vibrations is what I'm getting. Um, that's what being being a medium or a channeler are is um, if you're with someone and you work with energy, you can kind of you pick up pick up energy. It's weird. Some of you are um, are very in tuned as well, but you are doubting your power. Some of you a lot. Um, but yeah, if you're becoming more sensitive, um, avoid, um, triggering situations or harsh situations, like, um, I don't know, if, like you're feeling sensitive and your family's aggressive, just kind of, dis not distance yourself from them, but like, make it short and sweet. Um, some movies may be getting more sensitive to food and other stuff, um, Yeah, I'm getting more sensitive. Um, I can hear sound from far away, um, and it's so annoying. So I'm getting more in tune, but I can relate to the sensitivity card. And the next card is Heart's Desire. And the card says, the angels are supporting, supporting, guiding, and protecting you as you your dreams become a reality. Some of you know about manifesting, is what I'm getting here. Um, so some of these are heading in the right path. Um, you're starting to listen to your soul and your what your heart's calling. Maybe you're kind of, yeah, you're in between worlds, you're in between dimensions. So you're kind of you're more in in the higher dimensions than the third. So the you may not be resonating a lot with the third dimension anymore. So like day to day bullshit really, um, like EastEnders and going out to the club every weekend. Some of you are stepping away from that and starting to step into your purpose and starting to be more centered and stuff and beginning to heal is what I'm seeing some of these are very intuitive um, some of these are into astrology or some of these are, want to learn astrology is what I'm getting oh. <laughs> and then the next card is the famous <laughs> love and light your purpose is to bring divine healing love and light to this world so that's like the famous hippie saying like love and light but yeah no it really is um obviously this the third dimension has a lot of darkness so being a light worker lighthouse empath star seed whatever you want to call it um yeah your job here is to shine the light on the darkness and um see kind of every situation through loving eyes um because when you respond to every situation from unconditional love and can step back and not get attached to any situation. You see that each situation has something to teach you or teach you and you can learn from that experience. So um, some of you have, some of you are well on your way to mastery. Um, mastery of the self is what I'm getting. Um, some of you have been doing some real a lot of inner work is what I'm getting as well, and like as I keep saying, a lot um, people think spirituality is all love and light and sunshine and roses, but a lot of listen, all that love and light comes from a lot of darkness and pain. Just let me know, tell you that, guys. Um, and your next card is animals. And your card says you understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the 
animals are part of your life's work. Um, some of you are very intuitive and drawn to animals. Animals heal the empath, just to let you guys know. Um, some of you may have cats or be drawn to cats. Um, cats are actually higher vibration and from higher dimensions. Um, Some of you, like I was saying, some of you communicate with animals telepathically. When your superpowers start coming online, you can start talking to the animals like telepathically and stuff. And they're drawn to, like, for me, I'll be walking and squirrels start coming around and surrounding me and shit. And birds start fucking flying over me like fucking um, Dr. Doolittle and all that. Um, and they're drawn to your light animals are. So if you're walking down the road... Um, yeah, dogs might just start looking at you or cats might look at you and they run across the road just because you're, um, they can't figure you out, your energy is high and stuff. So some of you are being called to work with animals, maybe... Maybe animal rescues, rescuing animals or adopting animals, you know, like if you see a stray dog, you just take it home. Um, that's what I'm getting for that card. Um, <laughs> and the next card is spiritual teacher. And the card says, you heal with your classes, lessons and seminars. So some of you have got knowledge to share with people and people are inspired by your actions um, and what knowledge you have to share with people. So um, whatever it is, whether you've got ancient wisdom, um, you're getting downloads, whether you're... Um, you can guide people in the 3D realm, whether you've got, whatever your gift is, just share it with the world right now is what I'm getting. Doesn't matter what gift it is, you may think the gift is so stupid, um, but just share it with the world. Um, because someone out there in this world can relate to it and need that guidance. So as little as you think, oh yeah, it's stupid by pulling a card a day or something, someone out there can relate to it and it's helping them on their journey. So I'm not just saying Oracle cards, but I'm just talking about, I don't know, um, yeah, just in general. And the next card is yoga. And then the card says, your life enhanced by yoga, stretching and exercising. Okay. Some of you need to, some of you may become yoga teachers or to do work with um, meditation is what I'm getting. But some of you need to stretch as well and get the body moving. Um, I had to do this today as well because um, the energy was so stagnant. So some of you need to get movement going to get the energy flowing again because the energy has been rough of recent. So some of you need to have a yoga, gym, um, just getting out there moving your body. Even dancing is great to get the energy flowing again because stagnant energy um, keeps you stuck and low down and heavy, heavyish. Um, <laughs> And then your next card is environmentalist. And the card says, you're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture and teach about na nature and the animals. Some of you are earth seeds is what I'm getting. Um, I'm not too sure what that is, but I know some like, I'm a star seed. I'm not from earth, should I say. I'm from a different galaxy. But some people are actually um, born, their souls are from earth. So they got a real connection to Earth. So when things shift with, um, when the Earth's going through shifts like with the full moon and stuff, you you may be very sensitive and um, feel that. Um, I'm not sure how to find out if you're a star seed, but um, an Earth seed or an Earth angel or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not sure how to find that out, but I've heard it come up a few times and this is what I'm getting kind of guided to say to you guys. Some of, yeah, some of you um, may be working with the planet and trying to take get, care of the planet, like recycling. Um, I pick up the odd bit of rubbish when I can. Um, some of you uh, should be grinding as well. Um, it's very important. And you feel more at peace when you're in nature. You, some Most of you guys as well. Um, but yeah, that's all the... Um, glad it's a got for you guys right now anyway but um if you like the video guys like share subscribe don't be shy um and i'm gonna hit you guys up real soon when i've got um get guided to do some more guidance for you guys anyway and um like i was saying before if any of you guys are interested in a personal reading just send me an email or um send me a, a dm on instagram 
and yeah for a short period of time the um, personal readings are half price so if you're interested just hit me up anyway um, peace love and light tribe I'm gonna hit you guys up real soon